Hello and welcome to another Maths with Mr Scales. Now this week our topic is Olympics. So what we're going to be doing in our Maths session today is focusing on averages. Now there's lots of different types of average. Generally when people speak about average they're talking about the mean but there is mode which is the most common number that appears. We're not going to focus on that today but there is range which is the largest number taking away the smallest number. There is median, which is the middle number, when you put all of the numbers in ascending order. And then there is the mean, which is when you add all of the numbers up together and divide by how many numbers you have. Now, with our Olympic theme, what I've decided to do today is look at the medal totals for the USA, China and Team GB across the last five Olympics. OK, so we have our medal totals for 2000. 2004, 2008, 2012 and 2016. Now with the data that's in the table we have sizzling which is where you're going to be working out the range for each of those countries. Now just a reminder range is the largest number take away the smallest number so for our sizzling challenge you'll be doing that for USA, China and GB. Our hot challenge, you're going to be working out the median. Now that's the middle number. Now the data here is as it goes year by year. However, to work out the median, what you need to do is put the numbers in ascending order first. So from the smallest to the largest, then that middle number is your median. For those of you that want to really challenge yourself with the scorching, you're going to be working out the mean. So you'd work out the mean totals for the USA, so you would add all five of these numbers up together and then divide by five. You would do the same for China and GB. And if you're really feeling confident, then our red hot challenge is working out the mean, but giving me that number as a decimal and as a fraction. Good luck. Okay, so for those of you on our sizzling challenge, you are working out the range, which is the largest number of total medals for each country, take away the smallest. So, for example, USA, we look at the number of medals they managed to achieve each Olympics. The largest number out of those five is 121, and the smallest number is 93. So to work out the range, you take the largest number, take away the smallest, and that will give you your answer. So our sizzling challenge, you do that for USA, China and GB. Okay, for those of you on the hot challenge, you're looking to find the median for each of these countries. Now remember, the median is the middle number. However, it's not just about looking at all of the numbers in the 2008 column. You must put them in ascending order first. That's smallest to biggest. So, for example, with the USA, the least amount of medals there was 93. The most was 121. We put the numbers in order and our median is that middle number. Good luck. Okay, for those of you on our scorching challenge, you're attempting to work out the mean, okay? So to work out the mean, that is when we add all five of the numbers up together. So we might let out something like this, and then we divide by how many sets of data we have. Now for each of these, we have five sets of data. So for example, USA, you would add the five numbers up, and then divide that answer by five. You're doing the same for USA, China, and GB. You can leave your answer as a remainder. And for those of you attempting our red hot challenge, you still need to work out the mean, just like you did with our scorching challenge. But I don't want your answer left as a remainder. You need to be converting it to a fraction and a decimal. If we take USA, for example, we would add the numbers up, just like we did on the last challenge, to give us a total. We'd divide that total by how many sets of data there are. That would give us an answer. Now here, we would need to be looking to put it into a fraction. So we'd look at how many were remaining, and what that was out of, and then converting that fraction to a decimal as well. 
Good luck with that one.